couple of days ago, Microsoft uh, put a tweet out um, asking people if they have more than 700 emails in their Outlook inbox or if they have zero. And um, it was quite interesting to see what the people were responding. Of course, I will blur the responses to protect the innocent. But um, I replied that I've got a zero inbox. And of course, it's not zero all day. But that's the point that I migrate back to every single morning as I want a zero inbox. And um, that might sound crazy. I mean, there's people who have thousands of emails in their inboxes. And I have to admit that um, in the beginning of lockdown, I mean, I was still overseas doing um, Ignite conferences when uh, the world kind of like took a strange spin and flew back and suddenly didn't know what to do with myself. And one of the first things I thought I would do is clean up that inbox. And um, it did take me most probably about a, a month, you know, working on it a bit every day. But I had thousands and thousands of emails that was unread. And um, in this uh, process, I mean, at some point, you know, you try and figure out ways to manage this. So at some point it got so out of hand that I just decided that if something's really important, it'll come back twice. Okay. <laughs> so I waited for the second email because I just couldn't manage everything. But it's because I had too much that I was looking at, I think. So I put a conscious, like really serious effort into every single mail that comes in that's junk. I just unsubscribe immediately. I just go and do it. I just take a split second, click on unsubscribe. I go unsubscribe. I um, delete or move junk stuff as well, and I clean my um, my junk email as well. I check it daily, and um, I even delete out my deleted items. I just like that whole clean look. And then something um, that I definitely started using was Quick Steps, which I'll uh, show you a bit about in a moment. Now, I remember I had a session or an interview with Donna Sarker in, uh, in 2018, and she said to me one of her productivity tips was is that she keeps her inbox offline and then purposely syncs it two or three times a day. Yeah, I'm not going to work like that. I tried it. doesn't work for me. So I really am one of those people who deals with it as it comes in. If it's uh, something I can't deal with right now, I'll just move it. If it's something I can delete or mark is completed that I know about it, so I was just uh, noted or I know that it's been dealt with, I move it immediately. Okay, and when I say immediately, if I'm in a meeting, of course, after meetings, I'll just quickly check. And if there's two or three that came in, I just move them immediately. And once you've cleaned up that inbox, it gets easier to deal with the daily stuff. Okay, even though I also get hundreds of emails a day, it just gets easier to deal with it than trying to deal with thousands of mails. So what I did do initially is um, I went to my inbox and I sorted it, I sorted it by from. And um, it's easier for me to look at a specific company or person and know that I've dealt with everything and know that I don't know, owe them anything. If I'm not sure, then I'll go through the miles. But I would know, for example, um, I don't know, it's just an example. So let's say emails from my sister. Is I know that there's nothing outstanding. I've dealt with or whatever. She's just CC'd me in a couple of things or something. And then I just select the whole person. I select the grouping at the top. You know, that can collapse. And then I move it. I just mark it as completed. So initially, I would mark an email. I would use the flags. So I would go and say, flag, this is important. And then flag it again as completed. And then I would move it. So I've got a thing with text as well. <laughs> that is a bit of a tick, isn't it? So, um, and then I actually came across Quick Steps, which I think has absolutely changed my life. So in my inbox, you'll see I also don't work with separate folders because the less folders you have and the less you move around, the search actually really works well these days. Okay, so I get why we used folders years ago. But I've got a couple of inbox folders. I've got today, this week, this month, whenever, and completed. Okay, and then um, I've got Quick Steps that represents that. So I've created quick steps that when I select the button, because I don't like rules, I don't know, well, who does, but I don't like uh, things happening in the background without me knowing about it. So um, what I'll do is I'll select an email and then say done and dusted. And what done and dusted does is it uh, marks it as read, it marks it as completed, and it moves it to my completed folder. So it's still in my inbox, but it just moves it out of the way. If it's something that I want to like get back to about today, I use the today and that marks it as follow up for today and it moves it to the today um, little inbox folder and the same for this month or this week and then I have a junk as well which is stuff that I can honestly just delete um, that is absolutely just stuff that I don't want to even deal with or search again so I can just select an email and say junk and it'll permanently delete it for me 
and move it um, to the uh, well permanently deleted folders. So by using quick steps, as I said, a lot of times I will um, group it by from, so even subject. So when I have a lot of email. Um, like online training stuff that gets sent out, then I get a lot of these accepted type of things. So you can just select all those mails or select the headers if that makes sense. And I know that those accepted mails, I can just go and say done and dusted and it moves it. So in my completed inbox, you'll see everything is green ticked <laughs> and everything is red. I don't have unread emails in any of these. And then I can easily just check today and see if there are any important things I want to take note of. I can check this week, this month, and yes, you might now say, okay, so I don't technically have a zero inbox. I have physically scanned through those mails and I've just parked them as little to-dos, if that makes sense. I'm not going to create planner tasks myself, people. It's not going to happen. So this way, I can just quickly um, look at today and make sure that I want those to, uh, to be dealt with. And then I move it again. So it's just about moving it out of my inbox, knowing that I've taken note of it. So I have scanned through it. I know what the email is about. And I move it into the respective like little planner bucket, if you can think of it that way, this week, this month, and um, and whenever. So I do think that that's uh, something that maybe could help you, I think, is, uh, is to take notes. And like I said, my inbox gets out, out of sync like very quickly. I cleaned it like two or three times yesterday. I checked and I just moved stuff. And by the time I went to bed last night, it was zero. So, um, so it's not that I don't get miles. I get a lot of miles. But um, but I just uh, I prefer to action them immediately, and I definitely do think that uh, the quick steps that you see there is a pretty incredible tool. So to set up a quick step, really easy. I'm just going to go to custom, so I can call this quick step. I mean, even if I want to create a quick step that says start a new email to these seven people, okay, you can do that, which is pretty cool. So instead of using groups, um, I can set up a quick step to say flag it. Uh, for this day, then move it to that folder, then I don't know. I mean, there's lots of actions you can add. So you can see that there is quite a lot of actions. It's very similar to um, to the rules in Outlook. There's lots of new ones, even setting up a new meeting, um, even forwarding it to a specific person. So many quick steps, and I like the fact that it's a little button. I wish the buttons were bigger, though. I wish I could have a separate little tab with the buttons that I use, and it'll just stay on that tab all day, because that's what I do, is I just hit those buttons. Maybe I should go and uh, log a feature request. I think that's something that can work quite well. So I do hope that this has uh, saved you, or maybe inspired you to do things a little bit different. It's horrible starting to clean it up, people, but I do suggest go sorting it per person. Do those unsubscribes, people. You know what, just take a, take a, like a Friday afternoon late, you know, open a beer. <laughs> Go sit with that uh, laptop of yours in the in the um, in the garden and just unsubscribe to those people. Get them out of your life, and if you have to, set up rules to move things to the deleted folders as well if you want to. But take the time to save time. I think that's the most valuable thing that I definitely can um, share with you. Have a great day.